of vicious dogs terrorizing a west side neighborhood. An hour long rampage ending with children scrambling on top of a car to escape. The neighbors who saved them left deeply scarred. So me and Jay put our lives in danger for these other children. And we did pay a pretty hefty price. After that bloody dog fight sent two people to the hospital, people in the neighborhood want to see some action. They're not looking for punishment for the dogs or the breed. They want the owners held responsible. Five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis is on the case right now. And Joe, the owner of these dogs could be facing fines of up to $1,000. Yes, but residents are wondering, those residents who rescued those neighborhood children are wondering uh, if, in fact, the owners could face or should face an even tougher penalty, perhaps even a trip to jail. They could have killed me. They really could have. If they would have kept ripping me open like they did. Becky Barker showed us the video. Residents racing to their cars to safety as three pit bulls went on a one hour rampage in her West 58th Street Cleveland neighborhood. Barker suffered 15 bite wounds to her body. Cleveland EMS, fire, and the Cleveland dog warden racing to the scene after Barker helped to rescue a half dozen children who were trapped by the pit bulls on top of this red car parked in front of her home. And they're screaming, and the dogs are just like clawing up the lady's car to get at these kids. Just a terrible, it was a horrible thing. Kind of scary. Neighbor Jay Anderson also helped to rescue the children. He too was severely attacked by the pit bulls on the backs of his legs. He tried to use a screwdriver, but one of the dogs disarmed him. So I turned around and looked at the, the dog that took my screwdriver and then a second one started attacking me. If this was a child that happened to me and Jay, that kid would be Mark for life. Residents say the owner of the dogs was cited. One of the pit bulls captured. Barker wants tougher Cleveland laws, not on the dogs, but the owners. But it ain't the breed of the animal. It's the owners of these animals that have them. Both Barker and Anderson had to be taken to the hospital, but they said they'd come to the rescue once again if they had to. Something's got to be done. That's that's terrible to let dogs like that go. Oh, thank God the no, no babies around here. The owner of these dogs, they should be really really accountable and really paid for what they did. And what sort of penalty could those owners face? We contacted the mayor's office, but it said it could not comment on an ongoing investigation. Reporting live here in Cleveland, I'm five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis.